I spoke about Good Sam and about the hospice movement to several church groups because my work involved churches or faith communities. And so during the pre-Christmas period in 2006, there were a few volunteers from Good Sam who liked to sing or perhaps in their church choirs and so a small group of us went uh, to sing Christmas carols for some of the hospice patients if they wanted that. So our little group went to a, an apartment house over in Rono where there was a man who was ill with lung cancer. And when we went into the apartment house, we were greeted by this beautiful cat. And she was a calico cat and she was a Manx. And so we went in and she jumped on the Manx bed and purred loudly. She likes to be around uh, people that she can help. And so anyway, um, the man who was ill had a girlfriend who was living with him and the woman told us that they were gonna have to give the cat back to the SPCA because she knew that she would be leaving there and that her friend was not going to be around much longer. And so we sang our carols and left, and I left the cat. Then I went home and told my husband about this and he said, I think you ought to adopt that cat. And so about a week later, this was after Christmas, I called Good Samaritan Hospice and they told me, yes, that the man had died. And so I called the uh, home and was told that, yes, I could get her. And so I adopted Gloria and renamed her because she is so pretty and because it was the Christmas season. And so she's still with me and she is my, um, actually she's a legacy from Good Sam.